Every living soul, every grateful heart, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the King of glory. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Beloved, open your mouth and begin to appreciate the Lord. We appreciate you this morning. Give him praise, give him praise this morning. We appreciate you this day, Lord. Father, we thank you, we worship you. We are worthy to be worshipped. You deserve all honor, you deserve all adoration. Lord, we worship you. We adore you, Jesus. There is no one like you. Lord, we worship you. None besides you. None can be compared to you, Father. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We appreciate you. Open your mouth, beloved. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Our God is a good God. There is no one like him. His name is Yahweh. His name is Eshadah. Elohim Elam. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord. 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 Holy Spirit, we thank you. Blessed Trinity, we thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we glorify your name. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for all that you do for us. We say, may your name and your name alone be glorified in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we have come again to worship you. We have come again to renew strength. Oh, Lord. We have come unto you, Lord. We have come Unto you, Lord, we have come, Holy Spirit, we have come to renew strength. We have come unto you, Lord, we have come unto you, Lord, we have come, Holy Spirit, we have come to strength we have come unto you father we have come unto you son we have come holy spirit we have come to release yes we have come we have come unto you father we have come unto you son we To renew strength unto the Lord, oh, be the glory, great things He has done unto the Lord, be the glory, great things He has done unto the Lord, be the glory. we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Adonai. Be thy exalted, O Lord God, forever. We worship you, Jehovah God. Holy Spirit of God, we surrender our totality to you. We ask that you come and take control. Lead the way. Guide us, O God. Help us to do your will every day of our lives. O Lord, we glorify you. Father, we worship you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Be thy exalted, O God, forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yela Bashanda Yela Bashanda Yeah. 
shed of days as old as you are as old as you are you will never change a shed of days as old as you are as old
Jehovah What is in you we do That is what Lord, there is no one like you. No one can take your place, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. He's the most high God. Can we just give a clap offering unto our maker? Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised and adored. There is no one like, like you, our Father. Oh Lord, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ah, Rekobo, Robo, Zogo, Robo, Shega, Thank you, Abba Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Our God is good. Proverb 14, verse 26 to 28. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It says, in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. God is to be feared. We need to fear the Lord. In the fear of the Lord is strong what? Confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Hallelujah. Amen. This word is so powerful. This is the word of the Lord to us today. If we can meditate on this word all throughout today, that will be lovely. He says, uh, the, word, the fear of the Lord is, the, is a strong confidence. The fear of the Lord is strong confidence. And the children, that is to say, and his children, that is to say, the children of the Lord, shall what have a place of refuge when we fear the lord we have confidence then we have a place of, of refuge. refuge amen hallelujah so the bible also tells us that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom so without the fear of the lord we will not have wisdom mm. so where does the wisdom come from it comes from the Lord. Oh, the Lord. So he's equally saying to us right here, he says the fear of the Lord is what? Strong Amen. confidence. Confidence. Hallelujah. Amen. And his children shall have a place of refuge. Hallelujah. The Lord is our refuge. Mm -hmm. He's our strong tower. This year, we need to know the Lord. We need to dig deep into his word. We need to know him. It's because we don't know who we are in the Lord. That is why the enemy can tell us, you know, can just play with our lives and just do whatever. That is why we are afflicted. That is why we go through a lot of things in life and we pray and it looks as if our prayers are not answered. It's because we don't know our place. It's because we don't know the power the Lord God has endowed into us. He says, ye are gods. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Ye are gods. And equally tells us, he said, whatsoever we bind on earth is bind in heaven. Anything we set loose on earth is loose in where? Heaven. When two shall agree on a thing, according to Matthew 18, verse 18 to 19, the word of God tells us. So we need to know who we are. He says, when we agree on a thing, it shall happen. It will come to pass. Whatever we pray in agreement. Two, it says, two. Hallelujah. Talk less of three, four, five. So when we come together in that synergy and pray to our God, he answers because he is our refuge. Amen. In him, we have confidence because we fear him this year. We shall reap bountiful harvest. Net breaking testimonies shall be ours in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because we desire to know Him more this year. We desire, beloved, let that be your top most priority this year to know the Lord more, to seek His face. Hallelujah. Amen. He went further to say, He says, Verse 27, it says, The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. When we fear the Lord, we have life. Hallelujah. He says, The fear of the Lord is fountain of life. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never test again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink it shall never, never test again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never test again. of life is flowing right now. The word of God is flowing. It's flowing. It's flowing. Come and drink. The word of God is flowing. He says, whosoever drink shall never test again. Look at it. The word of God is flowing right now from this altar to your home to wherever you're watching us from right now. The fountain of life is flowing. He's saying, fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Whatever sickness, whatever it is that you're going through right now, whatever doctor's report you have received, the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life. He says the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life. When you fear the Lord, you receive life. Receive that life right now. You shall not die but live. And testify to the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because the fear of the Lord, the Bible says, is the fountain of life. To depart off from it is snare of death. Depart from the snare of death. Have life. Look to Jesus and live. Look to Jesus and live. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. So to depart from the snare of death. So when you fear the Lord, you have life. Nothing can shake you. 
Say to yourself, I'm unshakable. I am unshakable. I am unshakable. I am unshakable because I fear the Lord. The Lord God is my refuge. He's my strength. I am unshakable because I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord. I fear the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I love this verse 27. I love it so much. It says, the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life. The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life. To depart from the snares of death. Say, oh God, my father. Oh God, my father. Oh God, my father. father. Empower me to fear you more this year. Holy Spirit of God, empower me to fear, to fear you. Empower me to fear the Lord. Beloved, pray that prayer. Empower me, Lord. Empower me, Lord. My household, my family shall fear the Lord. We shall fear the Lord. We shall not take any step without the Lord this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Instruction to hear his direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Open our eyes. We have confidence in you. Amen. We have confidence in you, God. You are our refuge. We hide under the wings of the Lord God Almighty. Father, we glorify your name. Be thy exalted, be thy magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved, you just heard us talk about the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. And that fountain of life is flowing to you right now. The Lord God is calling you. If you are yet to give your life to Jesus Christ. Or you were once in the Lord. Now you don't serve the Lord anymore. The things of this world, according to the Bible, say demons have forsaken the ways of the Lord. He He has gone after the things of this world. But you know the good thing is that God is always there. Is a loving father. His arms are ever wide open to receive you back. So today is a day of salvation. Please, as a man of God, lead us in these prayers. Do not harden your heart. Open up your heart and let the Lord come in. Let him come in so that your life can take a new leave this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ or you backslid from faith and you want to dedicate your life to him, please let us pray together. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for coming to this thank world. Thank you for coming to this world. To die for my sins. To die for my sins. I acknowledge myself a sinner. I acknowledge myself a sinner. You are the only Savior who can save me. You are me. the only Savior who can save me. I confess all my sins I unto you. I confess all my sins unto you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. And write my name in the book and of life. write my name in the book of life. From today. From today. I accept you. I accept you. And I confess you. And I confess you. As my personal Lord and Savior. As my personal Lord and Savior. Help me to live my life for you. Help me to live my life for you. Help me not to miss the rapture. Help me not to miss the rapture. In Jesus' mighty name In pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. The heaven is rejoiced right now for a single soul that gives their life to Jesus. And we are as well happy for you. So we pray for you that this decision you have made today you will never regret it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord God got him to be with you. Amen. And if the Lord decides to come today in rapture, may he find you and us rapturable in the name of God the Father amen. and of the Son amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we are afraid. Amen. amen and amen. 
Amen. Amen. Say to yourself, I am not what I think I am. I am not what I think I am. I am not what the world says I am. I am what God says I am. I am a winner. I am not a loser. I am moving forward. I am not stagnant. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. Am moving forward. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So therefore, no sickness, no infirmity has the right to torment me. Psalm 117 says that that I shall not die. My family members shall not die. But we shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Any tongue that rises against us in judgment be condemned right now in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Galatians 6.17 says, From now henceforth, let no one trouble us. Let no man trouble at Jerusalem. For we bear the mark of Christ in our bodies anyone that troubles us, God will trouble them to desolation in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us again this wonderful day to praise the Lord and to worship Him. To pray to our Father the maker of heaven and earth, the one that hands us prayers. Thank you so much. It's always a great pleasure to be on this platform with you, praying and worshiping our maker. Please don't forget to continue tomorrow. Until then, don't forget to read your Bible and pray always. That is where the power is. God bless you. Bye for now.